And the way that I do that, man, is I got to hold loosely to the highs and the lows, man. Because there's always next. See, I've been an All-American. I've been an All-Louisiana. And I've been voted by the school as one of the best linemen to ever come through the university in 75 years. But I've also been bankrupt and demoted too. All of them are great. Achievement and trauma. So which one do I hold on to? Neither. Neither one. Because I'll never let what I've done be greater than my due. And neither should you. What's up, TSL Nation? Let's go live real quick, man. My job, my mission, man, is to, uh, is to get something on your mind for eight to 10 minutes and get you on with your day. So uh, thanks for being a part of the sales life. If you would, uh, you power this show, man. Share this show with, uh, with others as well. That's what helps get the word out. Tag someone who needs this episode. Also, if you want to listen through your ears, don't forget to subscribe to it on, uh, on iTunes or Spotify. Also, um, it's on the YouTube channel, The Sales Life Marsh Bice. And you will find this if you like to hang out on Instagram. It's uh, The Real Sales Life on, uh, on IG and IGTV. So I post um, what, how, when I record the podcast on my phone. I record that um, onto uh, onto IGTV. So let's rock out, man, with today's episode, episode 541. And don't let the greatest thing you've ever done be the greatest thing you'll ever do. Eric Weinemeyer uh, lost his eyesight at the age of 13. And he has climbed all seven summits. Don't ask me what all seven summits are, but, um, but he's climbed every one of them. And keep in mind, bro, he's blind. And when he was coming down off of the mountain, because he had reached the summit, a guy walked up to him and said, congratulations. But don't let Everest be the greatest thing you ever do. Dan Sullivan says that many people are fixed more on status than growth. And if you chase status, you're gonna stunt your growth, Sean. But on the flip side of that, If you chase growth, you'll achieve massive status. Benjamin Hardy in his new book, Personality Isn't Permanent, he writes, if your primary motive is chasing status, and status, dude, being um, a title, an income, a relationship, if your primary motive is chasing a status then what you're going to do is is you're going to go from approach oriented to avoidance oriented meaning see when you're chasing a status you're chasing a title you're chasing a relationship that boo that you got to have you're chasing an income whatever it is man if you're chasing that once you achieve it see you're achieving your achievement oriented But once you achieve it, then you do everything to protect it. And the way that you protect it, Thomas, is you begin to avoid. And you go from chasing a future version of yourself to protecting the identity that you created. And you do this by avoiding failure. See, you worked hard to got there. But the problem is, bro, 
You've got no gets. You got no gets. See, God is, is already in the past. God is gone. And because you crossed something off your list and you got it, you no longer get it anymore. And the way that you do this, Reggie, is you, you start being selective on which customers that you're going to work with. And I know you, bro. I mean, you're, you're of the elite status right now. So you're going to separate the buyers from the liars, the people who, who are worthy of your time. You become selective and try to avoid failure, try to avoid looking stupid and foolish by you carefully write and post something that only props up that image that you want people desperately to believe. You even avoid choosing a competitor who is better than you. And actually, the only people you compete against is the person that's a little bit inferior to you. Hardy's words, without a future self that has outgrown and outdone your current self, life starts to lose its meaning. It starts to lose its flavor a little bit. So here's my question to you, man. Are you carefully curating who you were? Or are you intensely creating who you aspire to be? One reason why Condoleezza Rice has been so successful after she was Secretary of State is because she firmly believes that you should never be a former anything. So back to my original statement. Don't let what you've done be the greatest thing you ever do. But that goes for the highs and for the lows. Because see, when you think of the greatest, oftentimes, man, you think of the times that you've won. But I'm talking the greatest also when you've had the greatest wipeouts, the greatest embarrassments, the greatest skids across the floor. Don't let what you've done be the greatest thing you ever do. Hardy writes, trauma and achievement can have a powerful impact on your personality. And you should never let your past define you. Now, you can let your past inspire you. Inspire you to aspire. That's the point in the map on the future. To aspire to a future higher self. You remember Buzz Aldrin? I think he was the second person who landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong was first, I think Buzz Aldrin was second. How does a person who set history go from an astronaut on his status? Number, you know how hard it is to be an astronaut? He goes from being an astronaut to being one of the first people in history in the world of stepping on the moon to becoming a drunk car salesman who didn't sell anything for six months. How does that happen? How do you go from landing on the moon to being a drunk, unsuccessful, busted out? It's because when he landed on the moon, he didn't have anything else lined up after that. See, he was achievement oriented. So his achievement was to become an astronaut, to get on the moon. And after that, he became avoidant, avoidance outcome. He drank himself to sleep every night.
See, Audrin had no past. Audrin had no next, sorry. He didn't have a next. And so he was just living in his past. And he always felt like, he said, what in the world do I do for an encore? After I land on the moon, what else is there? How, how much higher there is? See, Audrin never had a next. And the goats, man, the greatest of all times, they're always looking for next. See, they're not fixated on what they've done, Dana. They're focused on what they need to do. So my 4 a.m. starts every morning, they're not for status. They're for growth. Because if I got up at 4 a.m. for a status, then I lose either way. Because if I do it for a status and not for growth, then if I don't get the status fast enough, then I'll quit. But if I do get the status, when I get the status, if I did it just for status, then I'll ease up because I checked the box. My goal every day is to outlive and outgrow my current self. And the only way, bro, I'll do that is by constantly reframing the narrative. And I've got to shape where I'm going, not where I've been. And the way that I do that, man, is I got to hold loosely to the highs and the lows, man. Because there's always next. See, I've been an All-American. I've been in All-Louisiana. And I've been voted by the school as one of the best linemen to ever come through the university in 75 years. But I've also been bankrupt and demoted too. All of them are great. Achievement and trauma. So which one do I hold on to? Neither. Neither one. Because I'll never let what I've done be greater than my due. And neither should you. Remember, never settle. Keep selling your way through life, no matter what. Stay in the sales life. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you, Dana, for being on today's show. And uh, those who are catching up, you probably got, you're on your way to work, so you're catching up. I hope you catch Sales Life later on today. Also, if you find value in today's episode, be sure and hit the share button, man. Share it with someone else. Share it on your socials. Also, hit it up with some hearts, man, some likes. And you can also subscribe to the Sales Life on Facebook. Uh, that way you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, also, it is on iTunes. Nancy, you're late. Uh, you can also listen to it on, uh, on iTunes um, uh, and Spotify. It's The Sales Life with Marsh Vice. And then also on uh, YouTube and IGTV. I'll, I'll post them uh, on there as well. So connect with me on all the socials, man. I hope you have an amazing, what's the day? Thursday. Hope you have a great Thursday. Never settle. Keep selling your way through life, no matter what. Stay in the sales life. Hey, you've reached the end of this episode, but you have not reached the end of the sales life. Stay tuned. I got another one queued up just for you.